Welcome. This will be the first in a group of videos covering the charting function in Blue Water Trader. It's going to show you just how to get started, how to open, customize, and configure the charts the way that you'd like them to appear. So from my symbol manager here, I'm going to right click my product listing, go to the charts menu, and just start out with a basic one. So standard price volume. If I left click, I get a brand new chart. It's a five minute bar, a candlestick on the top pane and then a volume study on the bottom pane. To begin with, I can just change the shape of the chart. I can drag it. So if I put my cursor on the edge, left click and drag, I can go ahead and change the outer dimensions of the chart, fit it into a space on my monitor that I'd like or get it the size that I'd like to begin with. I can also adjust the relative space between the panes. If I put my cursor on that pane divider, this line here, it'll change. If I left click and drag at that point, I can expand or contract it change the relative size of those two panes. To get further into customization, I need to go into the chart properties. So if I right click here and I go to chart properties, I'll get a new window where I have all these different controls for the basic setup of the chart, for the bar type and so forth, and then for basic appearance items, things that I want to display or not to display, and or that I can change, like different colors and so forth. So let me do just a few things, for example. So I don't like this white background, say. I want it to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna expand background, pick out a color here. Let's try, just say, a gray, a silver. So I've adjusted that color on the outside, the background on the outside edge. I also want to adjust the bar a bit. So up here in bar formation is where I can choose different kinds of bars and or I can adjust the bar value or the bar frame. So it's on a five minute bar right now or 300 seconds. If I change it to 60 seconds for one minute and click OK, it'll rebuild it quickly. So now I'm looking at a one minute candlestick bar and then I've adjusted that color on the outside. If I run back in there, right click and go to chart properties, you'll see that I'm on this initial tab for chart. It's really settings that apply to the entire chart. But I also have tabs here for view, view zero and view one. And those refer to each of these panes I have. So my candlestick pane on top, and then my volume study pane in this case down below. And these are settings that I can change specifically in each of those panes that are specific to just one of them at a time. So for instance, uh, show study info. If I want to show more information on the fly up here in the bar pane, I'm going to go to top left and click OK. And now I have some bar info up here. So when I go over different bars, it'll show me info about those bars, open, high, low, close, and volume, and so forth. Now, right now I just have these two panes or views, but say I wanted to add another. If I right click, go to view, I can add a view, and I'll get a new blank pane down here. And I can adjust those spacing between them. And then I can populate a new item in that pane if I choose to. So just for example, I'm going to go to chart studies, select the market that I'm working with here. And let's do a MACD. So I'll select a MACD, move that over and click OK. Quickly rebuild. So that's an added view. So now I have three views in this chart. If I right click and go back to chart properties, I've got an additional tab. So view zero, view one, and view two. If I do the same example I did before, I could do study info here, click OK. Now I have information in the corner of that pane corresponding to that study. Uh, after a while, I decided I, I didn't want this basic volume study pane. I think I just want to go with the candlestick and the MACD. So if I right click in the center pane, go to view and remove view, I can yank that one out of there. So that's basics on getting started with a chart, how to open up a chart, go to chart properties to change some of the basic display and settings on that chart.